hi guys welcome back to my channel all right so remember to subscribe to my channel remember to like remember to leave a comment and remember to share also remember to click that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know and the first to share when new information is posted to my channel now today we are going to be looking at human and social biology sba part two and if you have missed part one i want to invite you to visit al's agrology mecca human and social biology school based assessment research project part two all right so we are going to pick up where we stopped at part one and in part one we stop where we look at the introduction and the number of things that should be listed and outlined under introduction now we are going to start with the methodology and we say determine what data is needed to answer the problem statement so in order to choose the method that you're going to use to collect your data you need to determine what type of data is needed indicate the method that you will use to collect your data or you can use a combination of methods now some example or examples of methods that you can use or questionnaire and surveys you can use interview and if you use interview indicate if it is in person interview or it's online slash virtual you can also use observation documents and records or you can also have a focus group where you have a group of persons and you can carry use that as your method to collect your data from them via discussion or question and answer and so forth indicate why the method used was chosen so justify why you choose to use the method or methods that you have used right indicate the total number of participants participated in the interview or the methodology right so example how many persons were interviewed how many persons gotten questionnaires how many persons participated in the experiment indicate under your methodology indicate how long it took to hand out the questionnaires or to collect the data via whatever means that you have used also indicate the number of questions the data collection method is consist of whether it's 10 or 5 or it have different multiple choice short answer indicate how many of each if you choose to do an observation by carrying out an experiment then list all the materials and equipment that you have used also indicate a step-by-step -step procedure that you have used in carrying out the experiment and you want to also have your observation listed as well now this you are going to present in tables so you can have your observation presented in data tables right so whatever means you have used method you have used to collect your data present your data in tables show the frequency of garbage so if you're going to be looking at garbage collection show the frequency how often right we have garbage burning in the community or the communities that you have investigated the frequency of garbage burning in those communities also use percentages as necessary or we are applicable to display the data collected as well what percentage of persons burn garbage what percentage of persons do composting you could also have that what percentage of persons burn garbage once a day twice a day once a month so forth show the ways in which persons are affected from the burning of garbage so you should collect that data you should have question on your questionnaire that will allow you to collect that data right how many persons affected from the burning of garbage from the smoke such as the coughing asthma attack burning eyes how many persons are affected in a different ways collect that information how does it affect them collect that information use the information in the tables to make your charts and your graph this is also part of presentation of data 
for experiments so we're in the lab doing an experiment and where heat and temperature are concerned indicate the units that you use right when placed in the data or the observation in your tables you should also have your limitation or limitations now indicate the things that were beyond your control as a researcher which affect the outcome of your experiment or your investigation for example you know that sometimes you give persons questionnaires to complete they don't sometimes speak the truth and say sometimes the information that they have inputted is not totally correct that is beyond your control now you want to have your data analyzed and interpreted so we look at analysis and interpretation of data analyze the data in the table so after presenting your data in the table now you're going to analyze explain what compare contrast what the information in the table as well as your charts and your graph what the information is saying for example what percentage of the community burn garbage once per week twice per week um, once a month twice per month etc compare contrast whether ten percent five percent so forth analyze your data tables and indicate what is the main or the main cause or the main effects of burning garbage on people and their percentages so for example what percentage are affected by smoke what a person percentage of persons have asthma attack what percentage of persons have burning eyes and so forth what percentage of persons have to go to the hospital because of the burning of garbage in the communities that you have investigated in addition to the information the interpreting and the analyzing you need to utilize relevant literature in an effort to support your research so for example according to John 2011 there should be massive sensitization and education of the public so as to make them change their attitude attitudes towards the garbage disposal and sanitation now this information you must place in your bibliography the reference must be placed in your bibliography so this is just a citation and you place the reference in your bibliography now if you have calculation so if you are doing an experiment in the lab you might have calculation and so you can also place your calculation in this section under your analysis and interpretation and also analyze and interpret what the information or the calculation is really saying after analysis and interpretation you want to conclude so we're looking at the burning of garbage affects the health of birth of most persons in their communities or the communities under investigation are investigated mainly causing coughing and you can outline some of the others link your conclusion to the problem statement and indicate also if information or the information found has addressed the problem statement and also if the objective was met summarize your findings based on the data collected and you have a little thing in your conclusion after concluding you want to give your recommendation right so what are some of the things that you found out or you want to give some recommendation for improvement outline what can be done to educate people in the various communities that you have investigated and even in other communities on the negative effects of burning garbage you can also indicate some alternate ways in which persons can dispose of their garbage instead of burning such as composting after doing your recommendation you want to reflect now and some of the things that you have learned and some of the things that you can improve upon you can institute or you have instituted since how it affect your life so reflect on any learning obtained from carrying out the investigation and what are some of the steps taken since the experiment to reduce the burning of garbage in your community or at home since you have known the impact of it what are some of the steps that you have now taken indicate some lessons learned from the experiment or investigation and what can be done to improve it if you should undertake such an experiment at another time how can you apply the experiment to your life to your daily life how can the persons in your family or your community apply the experiment to their daily life 
What are some of the social and economical impacts the burning of garbage can have on your community? Social can affect the person's health. Economically, you know, few persons have to be spending money to go to the hospital and all of that. List some of these or explain some of these or outline some of these. You are reflecting. Now, again, as I said, all the literature that you have used, place the references in your bibliography for all the literature used. And you must have an appendix. Now, in your appendix, place a copy of your data collection instrument, such as your questionnaire, or the information used for your focus group, or you use for your interview. Place a collection, a, a sample of your data collection instrument in your appendix. All right. So that's it for part two of our human and social biology school-based assessment. And remember, if you have missed part one, remember to visit Al's Agrology Mecca for part one of school-based assessment for human and social biology. Now, class is coming soon in September. For those persons who have missed human and social biology classes last school year, do you want to get ready for CSEC in fourth and fifth form? Do you want to make up for what you have missed during last school year? Make contact for more information at alsagrology907 at gmail.com. Class is starting soon on Wednesdays from 5 to 7 p.m. That is in September. Platforms to be used, Google Meet and Google Classroom. So class is starting soon. Remember to visit alsagrology907 at gmail.com for more information and to book your spot for classes. All right. Remember to visit Al's Agrology Mecca. And remember to subscribe, remember to like, leave a comment, and share. But most importantly, click that notification bell so that you will be the first to know and the first to share when new information is posted. Alright, so remember to stay tuned for updated or more information to Al's Agrology Mecca. Subscribe!